top 10 Japanese cultures to know about. Japan is a must-see destination for anyone with a bucket list. It's a place where old and new cultures collide to create something unique. There are unique experiences to be had here that you won't find anyplace else. If you arrived unprepared, you may lose out. The top 10 cultural experiences to seek out in Japan are listed below. Number 1. Themed Cafes You may be turned off by garish themed cafes, but the ones in Japan are in another level entirely. There's a cafe or restaurant for every specialized interest, as well as some that will have you scratching your head and wondering why though. Perhaps you'd like to pet kittens or hold owls, eat while surrounded by your favorite anime characters, be served by maids in Akihabara, or dine in a prison cell. Whatever it is, you'll get it in Japan, along with dinner. However, be aware of the debate surrounding owls and other animal-themed eaters. Some people think they're inhumane, but it's absolutely up to you whether or not you want to go. Alternative cafes that also serve as shelters, such as Neko Republic and Cat Guardian in Otsuga, are available if you're worried about animal welfare. Number 2. We are Kimono These magnificent pieces of traditional clothing are frequently handed down through families' generations, and new clothes can cost up to 10,000s of yen. Even Yukata, the less expensive summer version, can add up when all the accessories are added in. Fortunately, the tourist. More and more rental shops are springing up in classic districts such as Kyoto's Gion and Tokyo's Asakusa. Men and women can rent these items for a day or night giving you just enough time to take some memorable images around town. Number 3. Sleep in a Temple Staying overnight in a shrine or temple will give you a taste of what it's like to be a monk. Staying in a tatami room, eating shohin rori, and attending early morning prayers are typical. For those seeking a spiritual experience, Koyasa in Wakamaya is a popular choice. Your temple rooms can also be obtained in Kyoto and Nara. Number 4. Attend a Convention if you like anime and manga, why not go to a convention at the birthplace of this genre? Japanese fans are known for their fervent devotion, and conventions represent the pinnacle of the fan culture. Comiket is the world's largest comic market held in Odaiba twice a year in August and December, and geared towards amateurs who deal in self-published comics or jujinshi. Number 5. Watch a sumo match Sumo is a unique martial art and one of Japan's oldest sports. Even if you aren't a sports lover, consider attending a bout because sumo's origins are linked to Shintoism, and the contests are still accompanied by traditional rites. Throughout the year, tournaments are hosted in a variety of venues. To perform in the Ryogoku Kokogikan in Tokyo in January, May, and September. Number 6. Join a Tea Ceremony The tea ceremony is more than just a way to sip tea. It's a ritual with hidden meaning. The ritual is a microcosm of traditional Japanese aesthetics and beliefs, making it one of the most fascinating works to learn about Japanese culture. While sampling a traditional desert in one more types of tea, an experienced host will guide you through each procedure. The tea ceremonies in Kyoto and Kanasawa are popular. The English-speaking hosts are also available. Number 7. Stay at Ryokan There are many unique places to spend a night in Japan, ranging from capsule hotels to manga cafes. However, ryokan are unrivaled when it comes to enjoying the peak of Japanese hospitality. A multi-course dinner and a comfy futon are frequently included in a stay at these classic inns. Beppu in Oita and Hakon in Kanagawa are two of Japan's most popular ryokan restaurants or resorts. The amount of Japanese politeness you received at a ryokan is unrivaled despite the fact that they might be pricey at times. Number 8. Hanami Hanami is a must if you open to the idea of visiting Japan when the cherry blossoms are in bloom. Endure the simple task of erecting a picnic blanket or tarp among the cherry trees and taking in the scenery with your companions. Top blossom destinations including as Mountain Yoshino and Himishi Castle attract both locals and tourists, but Hanami can be experienced everywhere. It's more important to be with the right people than it is to be in the right place. Number 9. Participate in the festival. An excellent Matsuri is something that everyone enjoys. Summer nights, foods on sticks, colorful shows, however, you won't truly feel the Matsuri spirit pulsing through your veins until you participate in a parade. The Aomori Nibuda Festival is one of the most accessible significant events. The celebration has planned musical and float bearer teams, but it also primarily relies on volunteer hand and toe dancers who leap and chant in front of the floats. Another great option to participate is to attend a bond festival, where there's generally a circle dance that everyone may go in. Number 10. Bath in an onsen Whatever you do in Japan, swimming in a hot spring is the finest way to unwind after a long day of sightseeing. 
on the center public baths that use natural spring water and allow people to soak naked. Don't get snitted until he is given into shot. Some, such as Nyoto Onsen in Akita Prefecture, are tucked away in the mountains and give complete privacy. The waters are supposed to have healing characteristics. Even if they didn't, simply sitting in the tranquil baths with friends and family is therapeutic enough. Don't worry if you're afraid of getting naked. Most Onsen are generally gender segregated. I hope you love the content we provided you with and if you did then do like the video and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content. Thanks for watching.